welcome students today's topic is rolls theorem so it is one of the applications in the field of calculus so the main idea application was the finding the maximum and minimum values for a function with the curve functions so it was taken by myself daniel Ashton, professor department of mathematics cba college so this is the history of rolls theorem so the statement tells us therefore a continuous function in a closed interval a comma b must have both the minimum and the maximum values in this interval so however both these values occurs at the end point and the starting points so it was named by the famous french mathematician michael drone so he guarantees that there is the existence of extreme value in the interior of a closed interval so extreme mean value means it's a maximum value that will be found in in between the closed intervals a comma b the statement of the theorem tells us that so let f be a continuous on a closed interval a comma b and a differentiable on an open interval a comma b if f of a equal to f of b then there exists one number c in a comma b such that f dash of c equal to zero there are three conditions the first one is f is closed in closed in a comma b or closed interval a comma b so on differentiable in open interval a comma b if f of a equal to f of b then we can find a number c in a open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to zero so take all the conditions stated in the, the statement so that is uh, f is continuous on a comma b and differentiable on uh, a comma b then if f of a equal to f of b then there must be uh, one x valued function of a and b in the graph such that it's a horizontal tangent in it so it tells us that so if you have the function f is continuous continuous means all the points in the graph are connected so here there are three points so all three points are connected so second condition is differentiable differentiable means the curve the connected line will be like a curve so it's smooth curve differentiable means we can get a smooth curve in the graph so we can get this if we get a smooth curve means it will look like a parabola okay so for a given function f it is continuous so all the points are connected so on differentiable so we can get a smooth curve like a parabola so if if we have both the conditions and f of a equal to f of, f of b then if we draw a tangent at the peakness of the curve and the point of intersection of the tangent and the curve is the point you see in other words if there exists interval a comma b f of a equal to f of b then we can find a c such that if we draw a perpendicular line to it and it uh, when it touches the curve maximum point and you can draw the tangent it will it will intersect so this is the basic idea of a rolls theorem so if we consider the converse case so if we lost the differentiability requirement from the rolls theorem so if it is still continuous so there exists a critical point so but there will not yield a horizontal tangent so tangent means so if there exists what is the definition of a tangent if a tangent means if there exists a curve curvature surface and if you draw a straight line and it, it, if the intersection happens means then we call it as a tangent so here if we drop the differentiable condition then the smoothness of the curve will be lost so the uh, the graph will look like here also we have the three points and the graph will look like uh like a pyramid it's not a curve so without a curve curvature we can we cannot draw a tangent in it so if you lost the differentiability concept we cannot get a curve curvature or a smooth curve in the graph so without a smooth curve we cannot draw the tangent so the theorem fails so the the necessary and sufficient conditions was differentiability and continuous in differentiability then we can if assume that f of a equal to f of b then we can find the c let's see a example so example so find two lines intercept of f of x is equal to x square minus 3x plus 2 so f dash of x is equal to 0 some point of 2x intercept solution so note f is differentiable on a entire real line setting f of x is equal to 0 that means so taking the given curve equation 
and equating it to 0 and uh, we find the values of x that is x is equal to 1 and 2. So, so, so if f of, one, f of 1 is equal to f of 2 is equal to 0. So, substitute the values of x and uh, that is 1 and 2 in this equation. So, if we substitute the values of x equal to 1 and 2 means we can get f of 1 equal to f of 2 equal to 0. So, and the conditions of our Rolle's theorem is satisfied. So, then there exists at least one, it, one number c in an interval 1 comma 2 such that f dash of c equal to 0. So, the Rolle theorem tells us that so if f of a equal to f of b means then there exists one number such that f dash of c equal to 0. So, we can we, we, now we want to find f dash of c. So, first find the f dash of x. So, f dash of x is found that 2x minus 3. So, now to determine the f dash of uh, x is equal to 0. So, if you substitute 0 to the above equation, we can find x is equal to 3 by 2. So, we found that c is 3 by 2. So, if you, sub, uh, if you map the theorem according to the Rolle's theorem means for the given function, the curve will be looking like this. It will it will cross as the x-axis and uh, it will reach as the second quadrant of the graph. And uh, if you draw the f if you draw the tangent to the maximum uh, of the curve curvature and it will touches the curve at a point. So three curve, three by two. That is f dash of c the horizontal tangent the value x value for which the f dash of x is equal to 0 is between two lines at x intercepts so this is the graphical notation for the given example hope you all understand thank you students